Dear students, in this module, we're going to look at why local alignments are a very useful tool in sequence comparisons. The variation between sequences arises from the fact that sometimes you have additional nucleotides or amino acids, or at other times, some nucleotides or amino acids are removed, or and in another case, they may be substituted by a different nucleotide or amino acid. So all of these variations, when they come into the sequences, we need to be very careful when comparing the two sequences in pairwise sequence alignment. So to calculate this similarity, we go about aligning the sequences. Now, why local alignments? So the local alignments are very powerful as compared to the global alignment. In the global alignment, if you may remember, we had one sequence on top and a smaller sequence on the bottom and we try to stretch the smaller sequence in a way that the two sequences became aligned with their start and their end at the same position. In the local alignments, we don't do that. In the local alignments, we try to compare that portion or the smaller sequence as it is with the bigger sequence. The power of this exercise comes from the fact that biological entities such as proteins, they have domains and motifs. Domains are functional units within a protein and therefore have a very high chance of being conserved across multiple proteins. So if a protein is comp uh, composed of, let's say, two domains, then it is very possible that one of those domains is conserved or it exists exactly as it is in some other protein. Therefore, local alignments can be very useful in searching domains and motifs. So given this background, it can, it can happen that you have multiple domains in a protein but their order is different within a protein. So if you are trying to sequence align these two proteins, you may want to shuffle the different domains in the smaller protein by bringing them forward or send them later. This may help you to one, identify exactly the domains and two, find a better alignment. As an example, if in protein X, you have domain one and two, you may have protein Y with domains 2 and 1. So the only the order is reversed. So if you look at these order, you can assume that the sequence, if the domain sequence is swapped, will match exactly. So therefore, this process can also be considered during sequence alignment and this is called domain shuffling. And you will see an example right here. So here is your protein number one and here is another protein, protein number two. As you can see, these two proteins, they are composed of four different domains. Let's call them A, B, C and D. While the order of the existence of these domains is different between these two proteins. In the case of the second protein, domain A is here as it is. Domain B has moved to the end. Domain C comes in after A and domain D is right here after B. So essentially the sequence for each one of these domains is the same for both of these sequences. However, the order of these domains between sequence 1 and sequence 2 is different. So the local alignment allows you to sequence and align these two proteins in such a way to maximize the match between protein 1 and protein 2. This of course is not possible if you want to take the global alignment approach. Besides the domain shuffling idea, there are several other advantages as well, such as local alignments allow you to compare sequences of variable length. So for the global alignment, you need to have two sequences that are exactly the same in length. But what if 
you have one sequence that is shorter or different from the other sequence. So local alignments are very useful in comparing uh, sequences that are different in length. Moreover, you can easily elicit and find out the conserved domains between various sequences such as domains. And of course, if you know some domains are conserved within the two sequences, then you can expect that their function will also be the same because domains dictate the function of proteins. So in conclusion, the local alignments, they help you to focus on the subsequences while the global alignment tries to compare the overall sequences. And by using the local alignments, you can find common features such as domains and motifs and therefore the functional nature of the two molecules as well.